Hello and welcome to Big Conversations, our first edition in 2023. Thank you so very much for joining us. Um, Happy New Year. Um, Happy New Year. I, I pray and hope sincerely that this year will be everything you want it to be. And that's an important prayer because, you know, we always start the year with um, a lot of optimism, as we should, and aspirations. I start with an apology. My my video, my my laptop crashed, so I'm I'm recording. We're, we're streaming off my my daughter's Chromebook, and I've noticed I'm coming across as dark. Uh, yeah, with the dark, you know, I just look a bit darker. Um, I think it may have something to do with what we're streaming live from. So I'm going to be repeating my apologies as we go on. Uh, these things happen, but what do we? What do you do? We make a lemonade. We make lemonade out of our lemons. Yeah, I didn't want to cancel tonight because we have a lot riding tonight, and we we have a show for you. Um, what is Big Conversations? It's a magazine show, a monthly magazine show produced by LCC Media, Ladies Corner of CA, um, and it's hosted by me, T Adiemo. Yes, that's right, T Adiemo. Um, so we, we have a show, boy, do we have a show for you. Right after my intro, we have Damilola DDG. She's coming to help us um, as black women. Uh, she, uh, she, she's, she's an expert on, on kinky hair, on black hair. And she's coming to, to show us, to tell us things uh, that we may not necessarily know, uh, things that we need to be reminded of of our hair. Um, at the top of the hour, hopefully, uh, we have Tayo and Dotu, a combo, to do our finances. They'll be talking uh, finances, your money, taxes in his next, uh, well, is soon, February, March. Uh, they'll be here to, to ginger you up about your taxes, about your money, your life, and so on and so forth. Um, in this show, also, we talk about autism. Do you do you um, have an autistic child, perhaps? Do you know anyone with, auti with, uh, with, with an autistic child? Um, so we hope to educate you and enlighten you and bring some more awareness to autism um, later on in tonight's show. Um, Giselle is at the top of the hour, Giselle General, with tidbits from Edmonton City Council. Um, she tells us everything we need to know about Edmonton. Hopefully soon, maybe from February, we'll have a Calgary update for you, what's going on in Calgary. But at the moment, we have Giselle. Now, from the last time we met you, we um, we have published um, a new uh, magazine. I don't know if you've seen it. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it. This is our winter edition. We were in Calgary yesterday. Uh, we went Calgary yesterday to promote this. We we're able to um, give it, you know, it's at the Italian Center in Calgary, amongst other places. And there are some interesting articles you may want to read. And we also, we've also been getting feedback about this edition. Um, you, you want to, yeah, you want to see if you can get a hold um, of our Labor of Love is our latest edition. And Miss Damilala Adedeji is here. We bring her in. She's our expert on hair. Hello and welcome to uh, Big Conversations. Thank you so very much for joining us. It's my pleasure. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yes, yes. I've, I've already apologized for the quality of my video tonight. It's making me look dark, darker. And as you know, I'm an up and coming human being. I want to look as bright as I can, but the the video quality on the Chromebook is not my fault. <laughs> so for those who do not know you, please tell us a little bit about what you do. I said to our audience before you came on that you are one of our uh, columnists that you've written severally for our magazine about kinky hair. So please tell us what you do. Okay, once again, thanks for having me. I'm Dami Adedeji. I, I... I'm the founder of Brown Skin Naturals. And uh, what we do is make natural products for hair, mostly for hair and just few products for skin, just like um, Sheber. So we, so um, of the approach that um, 
Our black hair is beautiful. Black is beautiful. Blacks don't crack. And um, we want uh, the, the motive behind this product are just making safe. Safety is really key. Safe, natural skin products that would not have any side effects for Africans, even for Caucasians and uh, for for general beauty and well-being. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, I hear when you say I hear when you say you make products for black skin. That's mm -hmm. does that include the hair? Yes, hair products too. Like um, yes, it includes hair products like shampoos, hair oils, um, hair oils, hair butters. Um, for the skin, for the hair, you know, for the for our kinky hair, or even um, relaxed hair for African hair, for even um, Caucasian. So different products for hair and the skin, but mainly for hair, like hair oils, hair butter, that will help prevent hair loss and will ensure good and healthy hair growth for for blacks and for everyone generally. Uh -huh. How did you get to this journey? How did this story start for you? Okay, so um, throw back to around COVID, COVID-19, my mom came visiting and she had um, alopecia, this um, kind of hair loss on the front of her hair. So she was discouraged to grow her, her hair because of trying to maintain it and all that. And she's an elderly woman. She's um, going to her 70s. So we tried to see a dermatologist here and um, all we tried to see dermatologist, it cost so much money trying to grow her hair back. There was no solution, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, wow, there be, be, there's some other approaches we might use to grow the, our hair you know, and that was where brown skin came to play. I had, I knew about hair oils and uh, I just knew that, oh, we can work on getting hair oils, things that will help with hair growth because, because of the weather here. Right from time, I hear she has been having issues with her hair, like growing her hair and uh, she had alopecia. That was why, that was the reason we went to the dermatologist. So I, I started get, having interest because I wanted her to go back with full hair, going back to Nigeria, you know, and I tried to use a proactive approach, trying to see what works best for her, trying to look for natural products. So that was when I started researching on like natural products. What natural products do we have? I knew of hair oils, I knew of coconut butter, uh, coconut oil, I knew of um, of almond oil, I knew of avocado oil, I knew of carrot, I knew of different oil, but things that would help with hair growth. So that was when I started my research in 2003. 2020 during COVID period. I started, I started um, mixing oils, I started practicing, trying to check all oils are appropriate, safe, safe, safety, safe, appropriate, like for black skin and something that won't give any side effects, you know, because number one, she was, she's an elderly woman and something that will help her grow her hair natural things that are natural so i was able to get a formula then work do some trainings on i enrolled i enrolled in the training school a short course where i was able to learn about um hair products that will help with hair growth black hair african hair you know and trying to see what works best for for elderly people from people here. Also, I had a couple of friends. I We moved from Calgary to Edmonton. I had a couple of friends that were always complaining in Calgary that, oh, their hairs, their, their, their hair lines were receding, their hair was cutting, their, that, oh, everyone coming to Canada has really taken off all their hair. That, is it the weather? Is it what's happening? So I also found out about the weather, how it also affects the hair, how um, winter can make your hair very 
it tends to make the hair very, very dry and uh, it can lead to less moisture and cut your hair. So, you know, I had, I did my research. I did so much research. My mom was my, um, how do I put it, case study because all the oils, she was using all the oils and she was trying to see which one worked. We tried to start measuring. Oh, where is growing? Oh, is this place growing? Is that place growing? And I noticed the medications she, were, she was giving were not, um, nothing was happening. So that was why we moved to the hair products route to see if it would work for her as an elderly woman. So I just saw that after the course, I learned on formulation, I learned on mixing products, especially natural products. I didn't want the products, some products out there, uh, the chemicals too are quite harmful to the hair and scalp. So I safety is really, really a big deal for me. So I started with these products. We started with hair oils and my mom used this and we just saw a drastic change. Her, hair, her hairline started growing and she was able to start growing her hair back. Her hair has been like that since when I was a teenager, maybe over 15 years ago, you know? So, and I saw that, wow, a hair that hadn't been growing, the front hairline and the back hairline started growing and it started growing. Everybody was not because we took pictures of each milestone, each um, stage of the process. The, the week one to, I documented all these stages and a hair started growing and I was just like, Wow. So once I, I learned that once you are being you are consistent and use the right product and you use the right approach, you can grow your hair without uh, despite any environment you are. If you are in Africa, if you are in Canada, uh, if you are in anywhere you are, you can grow your hair and your hair can grow very well and healthy and healthy. So after like um, the first um, four weeks I had grew gradually I had grew a back hairline stayed green she was able to start packing her hair growing her hair you know it wasn't it wasn't bowed it stayed green and I was just like wow this is it I started I started with the products learned more started um getting the products online did um, small courses you know stay retailing and we have we have a, a product line of like 10 different products you know working for here there have been beautiful reviews on good re reviews feedbacks on how these hair products had added value to people people that have lost their hair people that have given hope you know this part of the world we are in everybody's on the rush you know you don't have you don't have that luxury as it is in back home and most of the time the corporate women every woman every other woman corporate sector in every sector service industry in the, this part of the world we're always on the rush is it that we before going out we just put on our wigs we rush out you know we just live on wigs we live on wigs and um it's, it causes hair loss people are people are experiencing very huge hair loss with wigs with different things with hearts with um silks you know so it's been a good one for people realizing that yes they can grow their hair of course you want to be free you don't want to keep on wearing wigs wearing um silks up and down you know despite the environment or the temperature you want to be free you know so it has given it's, it's a kind of eye opener to people on how to take care of their hair especially for their baby girls their kids children how to take care of black hair the advantages of of of, of our hair leaving our hair healthy the beauty of black hair you know the beauty of kinky hair you know so and it has really really added value to the community um I am, um... Mrs. Mrs. Adeje. I, you know, I remember COVID so well because 
And I know several people who developed depression. I was sick. I had a breakdown as well. I and it wasn't mental. I had um, ulcer. I was really sick. Um, so I remember COVID as a dark period where I was either sick or getting better from being very sick. But there you are, very brave, very courageous, selfless, helping your mom look beautiful again, looking, um, going back traditionally and trying to find what sort of oils you can put together, you know, and then the miracle happened. I hair started to grow back. And I know every woman can attest to this, that the beauty of a woman is in her hair. Yes. Um, you know, and we associate our beauty. Oh, she's got such long hair. She's got such this. So I want to commend you for that, for taking such a very ominous and difficult diagnosis. Of, you said since you were 15, your mom's hair had been receding. And for turning, for, for reversing that is immensely credible. Mm -hmm. So what is the situation now with your mom? Let's start with that because I have a mom too. Let's start with that. So is her hair, does she have a head full of hair? Yes, absolutely. She's back home in Nigeria, you know, and she told her friends about it, experiencing the same issue. They contacted me, you know, I sent products back home for her friends in the same, like, age bracket, you know. You know how grandmas are, they keep on talking, oh, they keep on... Um, how old is your mom? My mom is... She's she's sixty seven. And she's not old. She's not the old. Sixty seven is a new fifty. You know that. So, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes, so you know how true. grandmas when they go out and they just keep on talking. Oh, my hair grew. My daughter has this hair. You know. And apart from that, it's it's uh it's it's very very good. The oils are very very good. Healthy. I use it. I I was um relaxing my hair i used chemicals re relaxing my hair i didn't have the patience to i thought natural hair was a whole bunch of stress you know trying to pack it because i have very coarse hair so i needed something to just make my life easy and move and you know so but i just realized i it was a big eye opener for me for my own hair too, I was able to grow my hair. I was able to know how to work with my hair. I was able to advise other like um, women to work on their daughter's hair, their kids' hair, their nieces, their their neighbors' hair. Talk about black hair. Talk about how your hair is important. Talk about um, approaches, simple steps to take care of the hair especially in this part of the world we are you know so it's mm. a bit eye-opener for me mr Dedich, it's important that we lay this foundation because um when i was growing up my mom was of the school that every girl should cut their hair low so my mom didn't generally um she didn't engage us in her hair it just cut low and we didn't really go to Edressa, we went to the barber, the barber came to our house and we were on low court. So mm -hmm. I have to say that I missed that. My mom didn't teach me how to. So obviously when we got to secondary school, secondary school I went to up until um, what we'll call grade 10 now, our hair was short. And then we now started to weave it. So obviously when I got out of secondary school, I was tired of the cut, low cut and I was tired of the weave. Um, so what I did was braids. So how would you encourage, you know, women? I'm sure there are tons of women like myself with absolutely zero or no relationship to, to their hair. Like my hair is always in braid and I've paid for it because, you know, some of my hair removes from, you know, I've lost some of my, uh, I can't, you know, decide, you know, because of the pressure, the, the braid, puts on, on, mm -hmm. on the thin hair there. So that's the first question. How, how, how do grown up women like myself, mm -hmm. before we come to the children, how do we even begin to understand that kinky hair is not angry? Kinky hair requires love, nurture, and you alluded to the fact that we all don't have time. How then do we look after this? And then my second question is, in your mixture, when you are working with your mom, 
Um, to cure alopecia, did you find there was carrot oil that was a winner or avocado oil or um, coconut oil? What is the concussion or did you take the oil to a preacher and the preacher blessed it? <laughs> is that the magic that worked <laughs> in this instance? So if you're watching, this is uh, Mr. Milola Adedeji. She's an expert on hair. Uh, please react to subscribe. We don't get paid for our time here, but your subscription is all the love that we need. So thank you so much for watching. We ask that you please share as well. Share, share, share with your friends and family as we talk about kinky hair tonight. Is that it, AG? Okay, so the first question, like looking after for adults, looking after our hair. So the first thing first is, what kind of hair do you have? Do you have, um, do you have um, the natural hair, like the hair without uh, the relaxer? Or do you have the kinky hair, you know? So there are two different types. There you have that or the one with the kinky hair. So let's start with the one with the relaxer. It's not a bad idea, but um, we have LDR options. I don't, I don't like condemning people that use, of course, do you. It's a free world and you have to do what makes you very comfortable. So with the relaxer, as a grown up in this part of the world, what do you need to do? If you're comfortable relaxing your hair, yes, um, yes, there could be, the side effects might be more than the hair with, without the relaxer, but you just have to maintain it. I know some people that they've been on natural and they just want to, because they want to make their life, they want to make their lives easy. And I really don't blame people. So the first thing first, um, steaming is very, very key. Ensure you steam your hair, know, know your hair type. The porosity, there's a porosity test and it depends on, uh, I'll, I'll also, it would be, it would be on the magazine. I'll write about the porosity test on the magazine, how you know your hair porosity. There's there are hair types that are of low porosity, there's high porosity, and there is medium porosity. So know the kind of your hair porosity so that um, you know the kind of product to use. Once you know your hair porosity, with low porosity here, I mean the category of low porosity here, um, the low porosity here doesn't absorb products easily. So things like if you're on the relaxed part of the hair, you try to ensure you steam regularly. Steaming is either you, stre you steam your hair in um, saloons. Typical saloons in the south are like Bella 360. There's a, there's one, there's a saloon, oh, I forgot, Forever 21 in the south. There are nice saloons in the north, faffy hair. So if you stay in Edmonton or if any kind of part of the city where you stay in Canada, it's good to steam your hair. If you can go to the style salon, you could go on Amazon and get a steamer, a hair steamer, where you steam your hair regularly, at least once in a month. Why? Because of winter. Steaming helps, you know, steaming helps with your hair porosity. It helps keep your hair softer. It maintains your hair and it prevents your hair from breaking due to the temperature. Okay, so apart from steaming, um, water is very important to the hair. I take my spray bottles everywhere I go. This is my spray bottle. Uh, it's, you could get it on Amazon. You could get it in um, beauty supply store. Your spray bottle is your go-to. Always spray your hair every time. On braids, you can spray your hair. You know, just to keep it moisturized. Mr. Dedeji, there's some is that your hair? Is all of it your hair? No, it's not my hair, it's extension. <laughs> <laughs> it's extension, it's just like this kinky okay. extension. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's not my hair, it's kinky extension. I just put okay. Yes. So um spray the spray bottle is very, very important. It's a good to you, you just have it with you, you put water, you spray it, if you, if you have relaxed hair or the natural hair. So another thing is using hair oils. Try to use hair oils that, um, try light hair oils. I ensure my hair oils are very light and um, be free to use any brand you are, you, you feel comfortable with, you know. So try to use hair oils that have natural products. And, 
and the hair oils can be used on your scalp, you know, trying to use hair oils. If you experience dandruff, there are, there are other hair oils you can use, like tea tree, peppermint, you know, to just kind of use it. Do protective hairstyles, just like Miss T, the braids you are on is perfect for this weather. I also love braids. After this hairstyle, I might be on braids. You know, it's, it's a go-to. You just ensure that the tension on the braids are not too tight for your scalp, you know, despite the kind of porosity, this kind, kind of hair porosity you are currently on. So that is it for, for adults. Same thing applies to re, um, unnatural, kinky hair, where we call hair, hair that you don't add relaxer to. So for the kinky hair part, same thing. So there's this method called the LCO, liquid um, cream oil, and the LOC, liquid oil cream. These are techniques to, to help with the hair. The liquid is the the liquid is the water, like your spray bottle. The oil is your oil, your air oil, and the cream is maybe your 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 butter or probably, oops, I'm not, I'm turning it there, or like your conditioner. So those are the methods you use with the kind of products that suit your hair porosity. Your hair porosity somehow i describe it as probably your shoe size so you wouldn't you if you use a size um 10 for instance you won't go for a size 8 because it will suit your your shoe size so your air porosity suits what kind of product you use so that's the first approach to keep it healthy here edmonton weather is very humid uh um uh, maybe because of the mountains you you get things get dry easily, the humidity. So you have to keep your hair moisturized, especially in winter. If you don't do so, you can lose your hair. The hair will cut naturally. So you just have to get your hair moisturized with the LOC method, LOC liquid cream oil, LCO, or LOC liquid oil cream, LCO liquid cream oil. So those are the procedures protective stars it shouldn't be too tight then your satin bonnet sorry my satin bonnet is your no hair or scalp satin scalp so those are things how do you when you sleep what do you do if you're on braids what do you put on your hair do you leave it like that satin bonnet is a is a real big deal to maintain your hair in this part of the world and uh you could, if there are some people don't like putting things on their hair, you could also go for the option of using certain pillows, certain pillow cases. So you can get that on Amazon. Uh, you could go to Amazon type certain pillow cases where you can use while, while sleeping. So that certain, the difference is that the, the, the difference between certain and cutting hair products or certain pillow cases and bed sheets would, it wouldn't cause friction so that the hair wouldn't cut. So we are trying to maintain the hair as much as possible. And we are trying to see how, what kind of um, tools, products, techniques we can use to grow the hair. So those are basic things. Once this is done, I'm sure we'll have a healthy and lustrous hair where we can flaunt and we can, hair is our confidence, right? So and things and with this approach using all these tools and techniques i mentioned earlier i'm sure we'll be able to grow healthy hairs for ourselves and our children then for the second question to add it the oils does not miracle anyway it was it, it was not anointing oil so remember i said i went to i learned the formulation so for the oils that work for alopecia they were they, they currently are produced in in canada somewhere in canada i work with a lab to give them the formulation to produce it i saw that on the larger scale i wouldn't be able to 
produce different quantity to large quantities so i had to work with a lab to give me a formula that works perfectly well and would cover all safety precautions and how do i put it documentations and uh, quality control in quotes is very very key for me so this this oils contain the the the, the active ingredient is onion oil onion is good for hair growth and onion oil is part of the active ingredient that helped that helped with my mom's hair growth then and i was able to create a formula a working formula with this oil and ensure that the formulation has a large percentage of onion oil it wasn't a miracle <laughs> but it worked and um this is the formula we are using till today. So they are all like all natural ingredients that are good for the hair and are safe. Safety is very, very key to me. So that was yeah. thank, thank that you was, very that much. That was a secret ingredient. <laughs> the, only, the, the only question I've got there is I'm sure we you know you work with a lab and all they've probably done something to the onion oil, so your your eyes are not watering. When you apply it yes yes your eyes are not watering and and some people do not like onions the smell some I, I i have some clients that they don't like the smell of cooking it or or the smell or or they feel the smell is too strong so what they do is they use it for their steaming they wash it off so once they do their steaming, maybe probably in the salon or at home, they just use it to use it like a pre pull um, like a base in the middle of their hair and they wash it off. And yes, it works. So, and, it's, and of course, it doesn't cause your eye to be teary, no side effects at all. It's 100% natural. And there are other options apart from the onion oil. There's the slick edges. Um, there is um, light air oil, which is very light and um, helps with hair growth, but the onion oil is best for other issues like alopecia and all that. Mm. Mm. Thank, thank you very much for sharing your, your truth about um, kinky hair, about how to heal and cure alopecia. It's a very, everyone will know alopecia because last year during the Grammys, Will Smith actually punch someone who he felt disrespected, um, his wife, who is also dealing. Maybe she has not heard of onion oil. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to, I want to thank you for, for giving us that foundation. The next question I have is how do we teach our girls now, you know, how to develop a relationship? I know where my sister is helping her daughter, you know, to to fix her hair the hair is really kinky as in it's tough and the, the daughter will be crying she'll be frustrated i'm just trying to comb the hair ah, mm -hmm. ah. you know our hair is you know is that work you know this beauty is it mm -hmm. with years as well so mm -hmm. how do you even even my my little cousin that was my sister yeah my niece it's a struggle for her mm -hmm. and i feel for her because her hair is beautiful but it's very thick her hair grows well but it's very thick and when she's unlocking it from braids ay, you don't want to be there so how, how, how would we get children like her for example to love how they've you know how god has created them and giving them this luscious fertile hair mm -hmm. so for, for kids uh is is the lighter is a lighter portion for adults is it's quite similar to why described for adults and for kids we have to be more we be patient with kids so um for obviously they don't use um it's safe generally not to use relaxers or texturizers for kids yes the hair could be coarse and be very very strong and kids they get tired easily they just want something 
something workable for them and when you're making their hair you just have to be quick with it and so that they can play and do so many other things and have fun they just want to have fun so you just have to work with how um maybe the personality of kids do they like having for do they like their tablets while making their hair what do you need to do first of all do the porosity test same applicable technique we adults do the porosity test. Know the kind of hair your the your child has. Uh, low porosity, medium porosity, high porosity. The steamer works wonders. I for moms that have kids at home, try to get a steamer. It will give you peace of mind. The steamer, apart from the fact that it helps with moisture, it softens the hair. It tends the hair. It it cools the hair down. So if no matter how coarse your kid's hair is, it will cool it down. It will make it soft. So a steamer is a go-to part of the tools needed uh, for kids in the house. Then, um, yes, kids do protective styles like um, DD, um, cornrows, all that. Get a detangler detangler you know there are so many detanglers you could google it you could go to amazon detanglers are go through so that when um you are losing the kid's hair you can spray with your spray bottle and detangle detangle with the a detangler is like a conditioner that helps tame the hair makes it um soft in quotes makes it soft but water is your best friend um, a detangler is the best way so that um, when you're trying to wash do on wash days it will be easier the hair will be broken down to smaller pieces uh, maybe like um, corn rolls um, twisting in very smaller manageable pieces whatever kind of coarse however the hair is coarse it would be it would be um, broken down into smaller pieces so that you can manage the hair um, in stages, small by small. So you get a white tooth comb. You have a white tooth comb somewhere here. You get a white tooth comb and ensure. Sorry, one minute. You get a white tooth comb and ensure the hair is broken down into smaller pieces where. Um, when you combine it, it won't pain the child and it will be easier to manage. So the comb tree is also important. You can't just use a small comb thinking that, oh, it would make it smoother. A wild tooth comb is good. It could be, you get it in beauty supplies, you know. So these things will help manage the hair even before they take the you do the protective hairstyles like the DDs, the weavings, the corn rolls, and things to avoid with children. Ensure um, protective styles are not too tight. Ensure work, wash days are done. I know it's not easy. Everywhere is busy. H house chores, ensuring food prep, work, work life balance, but. That time for kids' hair should be within three, three weeks. Normally it should be two, two weeks, but I can still recommend three weeks so far. You use other things like using the LOC, trying to manage it weekly, or especially when you take the child to the salon, you won't want to be going every two, two weeks. So three, three weeks is very, very fine. And you get the product according to the child's hair porosity. Once this is done, the same, tools apply um, steamer getting a satin bonnet some children we know how children sleep they would they want to um, move around while sleeping so you could get a satin pillowcase for them to just use if the satin bonnet goes off to use for them to protect their hair to prevent it from cutting and it also prevents it helps keeping moisture so another thing too that can also help with kids is uh and adults is using the scalp massaging scalp massaging scalp massaging helps a lot especially during wash days so that maybe after steaming or when using the shampoo 
you can easily massage the hair for blood circulation or to kind of ease of pressure. It's just a kind of um, therapy as if you are scratching your hair with, with your comb, you know, it's just like a scalp massager to help with blood circulation within the scalp. So these are things that will help with children, you know, and um, don'ts, some don'ts I, I tell moms are just like, don't use rubber bands, um, like very tight rubber bands, because um, it causes friction. It will cut the hair. When it is tight, it cuts the hair. What, what to, okay, what else? Okay, for protective styles, don't use tight, don't make it tight. Don't use like tight extensions that would break or would pull tension on the scalp. Ensure you use the NDC method the liquid ensure the hair spray you spray water on your hair every day i tell people after to to just think and remember how to maintain your hair after brushing you can after brushing every day you can get your spray bottle spray it use the oil so that you wouldn't forget the same thing applies every day it's, it's consistency really works you know so that's the basic thing once all this is done with consistency, the hair will grow and your kids will be happy. They won't have pains, you know. I remember when I was growing up, I usually have pains when I go and make my hair, you know. And in Africa, when you go and make your hair, the hairdressers are not always nice. They hit you with comb and you just feel pain all over. So, you know. We should just make it in this century. We should just make it fun for children and have a more realistic approach to hair care. Mr. Dede, you think I noticed who are you in your shop or is this your bedroom that you're in? Because you have all the equipment, you brought the massager, you brought the <laughs> phone, you brought the oil, you have everything in your empire there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my office you know so okay. i have everything in store and and it's there's just a lot to wrap our heads around there right because you have the massager my mom didn't use a massager for me mm -hmm. you know so how would i know i need a massager i want you now we have this is my final question and i want to say thank you for writing for us several times and you have also committed yourself now to writing in our uh, spring 2023 edition, where can we find you? I know you are the owner, you are the proprietor of brownskinstore.com, brownskinstore.com. I want you to talk to us really quickly on the products that move. What are your top um, products that people can lay their hands on to buy? Can we find the massager on your website? Where can people find you for more? in-depth conversations okay. uh, about hair okay so thank you so much and um for websites is it's on the it, it's dropped on the chat i can always be read on my website i also have an instagram account so for the top products that people buy using um, people try to use um trying people try to go more organic you know just because People want to feel that natural Afro hair care. So for the top products, I had a black soap shampoo, um, air oil for, for hair growth. You know, this is called the slick edges. We have hair kits where we have the shampoo, conditioner, hair butter. Kids, hair butter are kids friendly, you know. I have um, children, baby girls that have used hair butter and it helped with their hair growth, their edges, their general hair growth. Their hair, the hair was very easy to manage. So the hair butter is something that goes to very fast. The hair oil goes to very fast. And of course, I also have skin products for children, for adults too, just like the um share butter you know because of the weather we are in uh canada is cold and edmonton is very cold you know so uh 
I use shea butter, and I know most people use it. You use it to protect yourself. We have the shea butter. We have body scrubs. Talking about body scrubs for general exfoliation, turmeric. We have ranges of turmeric, strawberry. We have the black soap too. So these are the most selling products that people purchase and adds, get value from it. Oh, getting feedbacks. Oh, the hair oil helped me a lot. The slick edges helped my hair. The black soap shampoo um, helped it clarify. It, it removed excess oil. You know, feedbacks like that uh, make us make us happy and excited so and you can also get it in stores in the city in edmonton city we have um and in calgary for now we have a, a product um carried by bella 360 in chapel um southwest we have it carried with bulk buy in the west we have it carried we have it carried on the website. We have it carried on in Calgary, La Poche Beauty Supply in Calgary, and a distributor in Calgary too. And you can always to get in touch with me. You can always um, send a message on the website or follow us on our Instagram page, Brown Skin for Us. Mr. Dedeji, that was beautiful. I learned a lot, and I want to say thank you very much. You're the proprietor, the owner of yeah. brownskinstore.com and people yeah. can um, can get a hold of, of you there. I look forward to your submission um, in our spring edition. I'll chat to you later about that, but thank you so very much for coming. Thank you so very much. I'm grateful for your time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss T. Adeyemo. Always your magazine. I love the quality. I was thinking that, mm -hmm. oh, I'm coming to Ladies Corner. Why I put on the purple? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. Did you like, go and oh. get your copies? Did you get to Flourish Dental to get your copy? Yes, Did I you got it. it. I even oh, went very to good. It. Yes, you know, I, I will catch you up. I need to meet you now. You know, we've been diddly daddling for over a year. It's time to yes. see you in person and maybe give yes. you a hug. Thank you for all that you do. I will let you go now. Please enjoy the rest of your evening and then we'll talk soon. Yeah, we have to Thank meet you. in person. Thank you so very much Thank again. You. Enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Miss Damilola Adedeji is um, a, um, a columnist for Ladies Corner magazine as our latest edition there and she she's right she's written severally for us she's the owner of brown skin store.com for all your skin and hair products